Here's a great story for Valentine's Day. Grumpy Monkey's at it again in Valentine Gross Out. This is written by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. Grumpy Monkey, Valentine Gross Out. Jim Pansy was enjoying a nap in the sun when a voice awakened him. Jim, do you like my flower? tweeted Oxpecker. My boyfriend gave it to me because we're in love. Love? said Jim. Gross! Don't be jealous. Also, my boyfriend is making me a romantic dinner for Valentine's Day, tweeted Oxpecker. Valentine's Day? What's that? asked Jim. It's a day for love, replied Oxpecker, full of hearts and sweets and flowers and romance. It's the loveliest, doveyest, most wonderfulest day ever. Yuck, said Jim. It sounds more like the grossest holiday. <laughs> Jim went to find his neighbor, Norman. I bet Norman thinks Valentine's Day is as gross as I do, thought Jim. But when he got to Norman's branch, his neighbor was busy. I'm making some love cards, said Norman. Catch you later. Jim couldn't believe it. Even Norman liked Valentine's Day. Everywhere Jim went, there were couples being gross, couples exchanging cards, couples gazing into each other's eyes, couples giggling for no reason, couples slow dancing, cuddling couples, snuggling couples, and worst of all, kissing couples. Finally, Jim couldn't take it anymore. Oh, Valentine's Day is the grossest holiday. It's true. All the kissing is pretty gross, said Norman. But Valentine's Day isn't just about couples. There are lots of kinds of love, said Norman. Like the love you have for your parents. And the love parents feel for their children, said Jim's mom. And the love you feel for your friends, said Norman. <laughs> Valentine's Day is about showing the people you love that you love them, said Jim's dad. Jim's arms were full, full of things that made him feel loved. It was a nice feeling that he wanted to share. And so he made valentines for all his friends and family. Um, maybe Valentine's Day isn't so gross after all, he thought. Ah, gross! <laughs> Grumpy monkey, Valentine gross out. I'm glad that Jim finally learned that there's lots of different kinds of love, and I hope that you share the love this Valentine's Day. Until we read again, adios amigos. Goodbye.